destroyed the ice cream machine in Pizza Hut. One of my proudest achievements. Hi, I'm Steve from 1233D. Today we are going to do an unboxing and first thoughts review of the Anycubic Photon Mono 4. So let's dive straight in. Do 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 do. Da -da. We have the obligatory smiley. First things that's fell out, we have leveling paper, what appears to be a screen protector. The lid, the build plate, again laser etched with any cubics pattern, just aids for build plate addition. A vat, the vat appears to be an acrylic type vat, it's not aluminium. And said machine, so as you can see, it's a small machine. This is basically budget line entry level machine, a claim to be 10K. So quite high resolution for a small machine. The Mars 4, I think is 8K or 9K. So it's 1K more. So in the box, we have power adapter. So there's no power brick with this machine. This just plugs straight into the back of the printer. We have some resin filters and some rubbery gloves. We have scraper, a USB drive, a selection of tools and screen protector accessories. So cleaning wipes and whatnot, the screen protector, some Allen keys and a plastic scraper. Doo -doo. So I guess the first thing to really do would be to apply the screen protector. It says, please take off the protective film and then stick the screen protector according to usage instructions. So we should get rid of that. We shall open said package, which in said package, Anybody familiar with mobile phones, screen protector, exactly the same principle. Alcohol wipe, microfiber cloth. We shall get this ready first. We've got back, front. So basically, when we're ready to apply, we'll peel off that one. I will spin this round. I shall open said alcohol wipe. Just wipe it around the area because the, the screen protector actually covers above and beyond the screen, which is a good thing. And then microfiber cloth, just to dry it off. Bingo. Doesn't matter if you get any little tidy air bubbles in it. No doubt when we start to actually use it, the force from the plate will disperse any air. We've removed that one. And we are good to go. So next up, we will undo the power cable, plug it in and turn it on. We have a bleep. I shall remove this from the front of the screen. I'm gonna pop the build plate on. Leveling paper, pop that under the screen. I will have to come around the front because I cannot see what on earth I am actually doing. Z, home. We are homed. So now, a little bit of pressure holding the plate down and just crisscross formation, tighten them screws back up. So now on the vat, there's protective film on the back. The vat, we've got a little funnily part for emptying the resin back out. Maximum fill for the vat is 390 millilitres. It's all very clearly marked. It does have locator feet. So we get the two little screws, snug that down and see what we have on the USB. And we have a couple of tes testy, testy files. So one is marked funnel, the other is marked test. And we have a RERF, basically a calibration file for exposure. We don't want to mess with anything like that. I am not going to do anything with the machine other than put some resin in and print a test file, see what happens. Anybody new to printing with resin, it is really, really important to give your resin a really good shake prior to pouring it into the vat to make sure that everything is mixed correctly. As you can see in the vat, we have lots of bubbles. Do not start your print until the bubbles have dispersed and settled. Just once you've poured it, leave it for a little while, let all the bubbles come to the surface pop, disperse, and then you are ready to print. I shall go to print. We shall select the testy file and I shall proceed to press the play button for print. Bill plates lowering down into the vat. 1,224 layers and there's a print time estimated of around three hours for this test print. So again, it gives us a little exposure on the screen, what it's doing. So while this is printing away, I will give a brief rundown of the machine, my first thoughts. So ultimately, this is Anycubic's entry grade 
printer. This is all reflected in the price and obviously as anything that you would expect you can tell through certain aspects of the build quality that this is a cheaper grade machine. We have an aluminium extrusion at the back holding the z-axis that is driven by a TR lead screw. There's no fancy linear rails or anything on the z-axis. It feels quite a light unit to be fair. We've got a smoked plastic lid to protect you from dazzling UV. It's exactly what you can see really. It's a, a very good entry point machine. So anybody who's considering getting into resin prints, this is gonna be an exceptionally affordable machine. The links to this machine will be in the description. So please be sure to check them out there. We will come back as soon as the test print is finished so I can give you my thoughts on how successful that went once we've done that we will probably slice another file and print something else as well just to show that it isn't a fluke if the test print does print how we would expect it to we will be back very shortly okay so we have now completed the test print and we have also downloaded a t-rex model from stl flix i printed those at the following settings we will put a screenshot of the settings that i used in light your slicer on screen so initial burning layers i use five i used an exposure time for the initial burning layers of 30 seconds exposure time of 2.8 seconds and the print printed faultlessly these were default settings from lighter slicer so i haven't changed anything and honestly when i came to remove the supports i literally washed the model off in some ipa i then soaked them in some hot water and the supports literally peeled away with no effort at all so exposure was bang on i will go over some key specs for the machines we have a build plate of 153.4 millimeters by 87 millimeters with a z height of 165 millimeters printing speed acclaimed standard resin at a 0.1 millimeter layer height will print at 50 millimeters per hour high speed resin however they claim will print at a 0.1 millimeter layer height at 70 millimeters per hour so quite impressive overall stats from this machine we have a 7 inch 10k mono lcd fitted we have an xy resolution of 17 by 17 um the operating screen is a 2.8 tft touchscreen control and we have a four point manual leveling system and we also have the anycubic laser engraved build plate to give you excellent build plate addition the slicing software that they mention on their website is photon workshop however i did use mango lychee slicer for this demonstration which is my go-to slicer so in summary i would highly recommend this machine to anybody who is looking to dabble in resin printing the machine is extremely affordable it produces really really high quality results and for anybody that's looking to print miniatures for warhammer gaming that type of thing this is an ideal machine to overall my impressions of this machine yeah absolutely if you are looking to get your first resin printer this is definitely a worthy candidate for that the price point is is very very cheap for what you're getting to get 10k out of a machine at this price is a good thing if you have any questions please drop them in the comments box below please don't forget to like subscribe and if you really want to share we look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye for now as always we aim to have the most competitive 3d printer prices on the market if you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream retailer for less please drop us an email using the link in the description and we'll do our very best to beat their price also if you're watching from outside the uk check the description for links to our european 123 3d sister stores